Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create skeuomorphism in Figma. So let's get started. What we are going to create at the end of this video is two types of skeuomorphism button or cards. One is cricket, another not. The first thing is to create a rectangle and with, the, and with this rectangle we have to put the color the same as the background and the color shouldn't be white or the effect is difficult to see. The first button that we are going to create is this one that look like hovered. So to do that, we are going to the right panel, go to the effect section and add inner shadows. The inner shadow have those properties, the bra, when highest is the number, more bra it become, so it become more diffuse. The X position that move to left to right, the Y pos position that move up down, the color, the opacity, and the blend mode. The color we are going to set it to gray instead of black. And we are going to add another effect. And let's change more, more or less like the drop shadow that we first created. But this time, we are making it to white. Set the value as I set, so it look like a 3D hole, and the light come from the upper left side. So we are going to add some brass and also change the color to gray. Now that we have this, we duplicate and we change all the inner shadow to drop shadow and we create the second type of skeuomorphism. Actually, we are going to add another effect so we can make it more like a 3D figure. Okay, set this to that. Let's check the difference. As you can see, the white become more intense. Okay. Looks great. Now that we have created them, you can copy and paste them and rearrange them and use them as you want. 
we can make this smaller, make the rectangle with both of them. So this is all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.